Okay, I'm gonna go over the, te the half floor techniques, but I wanna show first some concepts on how you have to behave and how you have to get on the position. And I'm gonna count with the help of Fernando here. Thank you, Fernando. So imagine you're here on close work, and you wanna make sure you have control on both sides of, of his body, okay? Usually I like to control the sleeve, but not making strong grip that he feels he should break and get away from that. So normally I just make like a nice grip, but not with strength. So when I start to move, I escape my hip out, and I bring my knee on that space here in between the, the space that his heart opens, okay? So the moment I have this, this is gonna be my shield. So I wanna make sure I keep a certain distance uh, so he doesn't crush me and start to pass my body. Now, the second thing, I will start to put my foot on his hips, okay? That's if I wanna keep a certain distance and it might even be a way for you to get away from him and, and stuff like this. But if you wanted to start to be offensive, you want to give him something. So what I like to do is usually put my foot in between his legs so he can start to think, okay, I have an opening to pass. And of course, I'm going to hook his foot over here. I'm going to show you the other angle afterwards to make sure he doesn't go away from me and just pass my guard. So I keep a certain distance. And it's important that I keep my knee up, okay? If it's low, I should only do it on the moment I'm going to start to move. But for now, to keep it at safe distance, I should keep it up. And the same way that I should keep this on the on his shoulder. Now, when should I hold his arm and when should I push it? The idea is this. If he's trying to stand up and get away from me, I'm keeping him close to me. If he's trying to crush me and put pressure, I'm making distance and putting him away from me. So that's the basic idea, it becomes very easy for you to remember, because if you do wrong, if you're doing this and he moves away from you, then you have nothing, okay? We'll go back a little bit. So basically you have this. Now, if he's trying to crush you like he was doing at first, coming this way, what you need to do is make the distance, and notice, I'm not doing strength to move him away, I'm not gonna be able to do that, he's a stronger person than me. So what I have to do, what I like to do is to, Control the shoulder and put my elbow on top of my knee. Okay, now even if he's a stronger guy, he's not gonna be choking himself. See how he has the strength to come here, but he cannot put his head down. And I don't, I'm not comfortable with him control my head either. So what I do is I swing it in, and if I need, look, he's a strong, right? I cannot break, but I can move my upper body away. And now I reset and come back. So you should always, he's trying to put pressure, you come in, make this, he hugs, you move it away, okay? So that's the first thing. Let's do the same with this angle here. I'm gonna put it from the beginning, come over here, I control, I escape it out, I bring it in. I'm keeping that distance, my foot's on the hip, in case I wanna move it away. Now, if I want to start to be offensive, I put my foot in here, remember I said, look at that hook here, remember? Keep it here, put the knee on the line of the hip, and then if he's trying to move away, I control him or control him. If he's trying to crush, it's the opposite. Notice that I'm never just doing this. I'm controlling his shoulder, elbow hold on top of the knee, and now he cannot crush me. If he's controlling my head, I swing the hand inside, move it away from him, and reset. And if he's trying to shove my knee, I didn't mention this before, but that's also important, I have to Make sure I block this. So the way I like to do is control and put my elbow over here. And then I'm, I make a, a frame, a structure that he cannot break. If he's trying to crush, I go on top of the knee. If he's trying to put it down, I go on this side. So this basic idea of changing to here, it's what you should do to get a setup, okay? So that gives you, gives you a basic idea of how to start and how to behave there to be safe. And now I'm gonna go on the next one and start to show some techniques to actually get the sweep.